Okay, so here we are at section 2.3. Uh, this is a little section that just kind of breaks down the the uh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Hashtag include. So uh, instead of number sign include or pound sign include. Anyway, uh, so hashtag include. Uh, and with this, what what uh, what this really means? And we I know we talked about it just briefly in another video, but. Uh, this is a preprocessor directive and this let me explain the way that the computer looks at this so we're saying a hashtag include and then we have a name here so we have io stream so if we're using this as an example because we've been using it right so this is a library this is the input output library uh the stream library that we have and what that is is that library is a set of instructions for the computer so it's more code all right so uh if we like for example we're using C out and later when we're using C in, uh, that's not included in the core components of uh, C++. So we have to tell the compiler that, hey, we want to load this particular library up so that we can use the commands with it. So um, this is, I mean, the preprocessor directive, not technically, a, a, you know, a C++ statement. It's just saying like, hey, I want to load this stuff. So it's not even really seen by a compiler. What the compiler will see is the instructions that are loaded here. So um, this particular statement, this just gets converted. This gets loaded up. So IO stream and the instructions come in as part of it. And uh, then we're able to use it as a code. It kind of, I don't know. I guess the way I, I kind of think about it is, uh, you know, like when I leave to, to play hockey. So we go and play hockey. Uh, my wife plays hockey with me. So we play in a co-ed league. And... Uh, we have our gear, right? So we have our hockey bags, and I would never ever go to hockey without my bag. Like I would grab it, and I and I know I'm good. Now, hopefully, I have all my stuff in there that I want to use. But let's say, for example, I forgot to put my skates in there. Well, I'm not going to be very effective because I don't have my skates. I can't play, right? Uh, actually, some of the guys on my team might say that uh, even when I have my skates, I'm not effective. But that's a whole other thing. Uh, so you, I have to include those, right? So just like the the input output stream, I have to throw my skates in my bag. Um, I have to include it as part of my my core components that I'm going to need uh, that I, so that I can use, uh, you know, so that I can so that I can skate later, so I can play the game uh, and all that kind of stuff. So it works the same way, all right? So so input output stream, uh, we're including that particular library. Later on, you're going to include your you're going to um, use this command you're going to include uh, your own and you'll see as you get further down into, into uh, C++ um, that you'll be creating these things and uh, it's it's kind of fun to be able to do that right so no semicolon here uh, it's not a C++ statement uh, we're just loading in that particular library so we can use the commands all right uh, so that's it okay shortest video of the chapter under three minutes not bad